All right, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combined. Paula's over here at the Autumn Festival. I think that, didn't we invite over Marilyn? Or I think we wanted to invite Marilyn. Let's see if we can. There we go, we finally have the option too. That's right, for some reason we did not have that option towards the end of the last part. And look at that, Daisy just got paid 29 simoleons for submitting a few chapters of Breaking Bad, which is wonderful. Okay, good, Marilyn is heading on over, which is fantastic. Now. I do want to write a, another book after Daisy's done with this. And originally I was going to have the horror novel be about the ice cream truck. But since we've already writing a drama about it, um, I've decided for the horror, <laughs> horror novel, not horror novel, that I want it to be about Paula being a vegetable slicer while she is a plant sim. So if you guys have any clever titles about that feel free to leave them in the comments and then i'll have daisy write a horror novel about that <laughs> okay so we're gonna keep designing trait chips over here with buster that way he can keep improving his skill and i don't i guess we should make a new plum bot soon i just i haven't gotten around to it or we could just wait until he maxes out his skill and makes like a really really cool one i suppose Babs is actually gardening for some reason. Why are you doing that? You're not fatigued, are you? That's right. Now, do you have a gig? Okay, you do. So Thursday at 7 p.m. That's right, because it's going to be spooky day tomorrow. So since it's going to be spooky day, like I said, I will try to... Oh my god, there's an emergency. Why are you over here cleaning the oven? Why are you here? Why aren't you at work? Go, please respond to the emergency. For the love of god, just go. <laughs> All right, let's worry about this fire first, and then we'll go over to Paula and see how she's doing with Marilyn. Wow, this is a really nice house. Okay, wait. Where is, why isn't it loading? Load, game, load. Thank you very much. Um, okay, fire's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. Wonderful. So go extinguish the flames. And, okay, good thing. I think that emergency just started because we have a grade A so far. And awesome! We got 640 simoleons for that. Fantastic! All right. Oh, we only got a letter B for that though. That's terrible. Oh well. Too bad that wasn't David's house. Otherwise, I would have just let that burn down to the ground. Though I don't think that would really benefit us in our job. <laughs> Probably not. Anyways, let's see. Paula is on a date over here. And where's Marilyn? Where'd she go? Uh, Marilyn. What? Where? Oh, there you are. Oh my god, you're like camouflaging. You, she seriously is. Look, she has floral print and there's all this floral crap beneath her. She just kind of blended right in. So we're going to gaze into her eyes, embrace, and eventually I want to see if we can either get her to move in or even get them engaged, like I was saying, and then we can have our first wedding of the third season. And maybe that's what will set off the chain reaction of weddings. And look, there's David just chilling over here on the park. What a jerk. You know what we should have Babs do? Hmm. Let me see. Let me go into buy mode. And let's go over... Where would this object be? Under entertainment, probably? Hmm, and then miscellaneous. Okay, I'm gonna try to find this one object that I have, which is from the Sims 3 store. I don't know where it is though, which is a problem. What is this? Oh, that's right, the toy making machine. Completely forgot about that. Anyways, just give me a moment and I will find the object I'm looking for. Okay, well I found the object I was looking for and then I found one that I wasn't looking for, but was totally happy to have. So over here we have a dragon egg, and I will go ahead and talk to it about hmm, the weather, I guess. We'll go and talk about the weather, why not? A couple times, but over here, we do have this fancy object here where we can tell our own fortune, so we will do that. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that this object was patched so that you can actually learn the magic spells skill from this. So 
I think I need a place a lot to uh, buy a elixir because I think I'm gonna have Babs become a witch. Why not? You know, she's kind of starting to uh, <laughs> wander into the dark magic territory. Though this will probably get rid of her becoming an imaginary friend because I don't think she can be both at the same time. But I think I'd be okay with that because then we could go ahead and go around town and use really um, offensive spells to the <laughs> men around this city because they're all terrible apparently. <laughs> like David and the dude that gives us the gigs. He's like the biggest jerk and trying to always flirt with Babs and being really inappropriate. So, you know, we want to make everything right in the world. And look at this. We can go ahead and propose marriage. And that's fine. You know, it's at the Autumn Festival. It actually looks really, really pretty right now with the sunset. So here we go. So there we have it. So we will just have to plan for a wedding in the future part. So fantastic. All righty. Now, let's see. Congratulations, Paula and Marilyn are now engaged. They can get married at a wedding party, or if they prefer something a little more intimate, a private wedding. Well, you know what? While we have Marilyn here, oops, there we go. I almost misspelled that. I'm going to go ahead and take her into create a sim. And I know this does reset her age, but whatever. I'm not worried about that. And all I'm worried about is actually changing her formal appearance that way when she gets married we can make sure that she is wearing something nice for her wedding day doesn't necessarily have to be a wedding dress but i will probably choose one just to suit the event and where should they get married maybe at the beach or something have we gone to the beach in well we kind of went to the beach when we went to the boardwalk so maybe we can find somewhere that looks nice around uh, Royan Heights that has a beach setting for their wedding because that would be pretty cool now Let's see the game is loading actually her default formal wear is really really nice um, What if I just make this white? Oh, I think originally it was white. Oh Wow, yeah, this is really really nice This is actually I assume from Royan Heights because it does have the store icon next to it It doesn't have to be completely white. I guess it's like this nice color Though, I don't know, I think if we just make it a little brighter, it'll look more like a wedding dress. And I guess we'll have her continue wearing the gloves. I don't really like the gloves, to be honest. <laughs> what, wait, why is this using a metal texture? What? <laughs> Hold on, let's add a fancier pattern to it. We'll just make it really subtle. Like that. Because I feel like a lot of wedding dresses have that, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know. There we go. Okay, great. So we have a kind of wedding pattern on it. I'm going to get rid of the accessories. I'll keep the earrings, but I just don't want the gloves or the bracelet. We'll also change our makeup and stuff slightly. Why not? And I was thinking of possibly converting Marilyn into a fairy. Because, you know, that way she could help out with Paula's gardening when she's a fairy. Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, where's the bracelet? Let's get rid of that. And the music stopped playing. This makes me incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, so we'll give her some big, pretty custom content eyelashes, because why not? There we go. They kind of go into her eyeballs a little bit, but beauty is pain. <laughs> we'll make her a blushing bride. There we go. We'll just turn down the opacity a little bit and make her not as red. Let's see. There we go. Actually, I just added like a nose highlight more than anything, but that's perfectly fine. And let, let's give her a better texture for her makeup. Maybe. Or right, that one's fine. We just have to make it a little darker, I think. Oops. Oh, God. That's the opposite of what I wanted. There we go. That's a nice color, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Makeup's makeup. <laughs> let's get rid of the eyeshadow, though. And maybe give her new eyebrows. Her eyebrows are fine. We'll use the eyebrows. Let's just go ahead and change her hairstyle though. Okay, so there we go. I think that she is completely ready for her big wedding day once we eventually plan it and all that good stuff. And we will have to have Paula also get a formal outfit ready for her wedding day. And I was thinking of maybe giving Paula this, just because it has like little 
flowers in it. So I might go with that just since she's a plant sim and I think it might sue her. Or I might keep her current hairstyle just because the one that she has currently looks uh, formal enough. But there we go. Let's go ahead and accept these changes. I said, let's go ahead and accept these changes. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, can we kiss her goodbye? Let's see. Why can't we kiss her goodbye yet? Oops, I almost had them get married right here on the spot, and that's not exactly what I wanted. There we go. So we'll kiss her goodbye, and then we'll go home. All right. And she says, uh, oh, no, she didn't say anything. But here we go. The path to magical power is a bumpy and sometimes dangerous one. But playing with magic and casting charms, curses, and spells is wor well worth the risk. Babs has started doing, or I'm sorry, has started down the path to magical mastery by learning the good luck charm. Okay, cool. So she already knows how to do magic? Really? Oh, oh well, it's a hidden spell, isn't it? So maybe that's why I don't see it down here. Because I don't think I have a mod to reveal that information anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go to the... Oh, what's all this? Oh, that's right. That's stuff that we've put into our inventory. Uh, where is the supernatural button? Here it is. And I want to buy her a wand. I'll just buy her a random one. I don't really care which one she gets. There we go. Now let's see if she can actually cast this. I'm not sure if she'll be able to or not. Let's see. Daisy's over here. Good fortune seems to be following you. That's great. A magician. Well... I don't think we can actually cast this yet. I don't think we can do it until she's a witch. Let's see. Make preferred wand. Attempt to cast spell. How about that? Let's test that out. Because it says that we did learn the good luck charm, but I think we still have to turn her into a witch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that normal sim can. It says, it was a nice try, but Babs Bunny lacks talent for casting spells. She should become a witch and try again. Okay. So that message was incredibly misleading, but <laughs> it's fine. Let's talk about the weather yet again to the dragon egg over here. I'm hoping that it'll be a green dragon. That way we can name it Yoshi. Or if it's a purple dragon, then we could name it Spyro. To so just kind of keep it with the whole video game theme, I suppose. But in the meantime, we will put the egg in Bab's inventory. And it says four hours and 34 minutes until it hatches, I suppose. So for Daisy, are you in a good mood? Yeah, I think you are. Continue writing your book. Um, I don't know how far along she is to finishing Breaking Babs. Hopefully far enough to the point where I can write a new book in the next part. Because that's what I'm hoping for. And oh, crap. I need to go check on Luigi Jr. I don't know what he's doing. Once my game decided to not do this anymore. Any day now. <laughs> Please? Okay, there we go. So he's actually going home now, but how is he doing at work? Um, so his experience is pretty decent and oh, someone learned a new skill. I think he's listening to a tab cast or he was for a moment. And now, oh God, everyone's going to be getting this notification now. Oh my God, the ice cream truck driver is going to go deal some meth now. Where is he going? Who's his next client? Let's see. Oh. Okay, that was a weird noise. <laughs> a relative's misfortune may be a windfall for you. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. So off they go. Okay. I'm just curious to see where this ice cream truck is going to disappear next. Because it's very rare that we see the ice cream truck driver move somewhere. And Oh, they went to the boardwalk? Nope. <gasps> they did. But then... It just vanished. Oh, there's a witch right there. Hey. Oh, that's right. Once we have uh, Babs become a witch, instead of having her ride the bike everywhere, she can go ahead and buy a magic broom and use that to travel instead. I don't know. Is she feeling sick? Oh, she's getting chilly. Oh, but she's indoors. She should be fine. Okay, which is good. All right. So Daisy, 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 Daisy. She's like halfway done. So I think if we have a really focus on writing... In this part and the next part, we should be able to get it done and then create that new book, like I was saying. As for Paula, instead of uh, working on your car, or yeah, I guess it's going to be all of their cars, uh, let's go make some more food. Like, we really haven't made anything lately, so let's go make some cinnamon rolls, because that sounds really, really good. Actually, have I made that already? I probably have. 
Cinnamon rolls are so good though. Like, why would you not want to make them anymore? And who's this? Sneeko Marks, go away. Oh yeah, and then tomorrow, Babs is actually going to be performing. So, oh crap, what broke over here? Uh, oh, the toilet's clogged. All right, let's have him unclog that before he goes to bed so he can improve his skill. There he goes, all right. And then there we go. We gotta make sure that Babs is in a good mood. That way, when she performs tomorrow, hopefully she'll be able to do well. And how close does she gain conferred? Not very close at all, actually. But hey, she's at least a level four magician, so that's something, I suppose. Now let's go eat some of that amazing cinnamon rolls over here because it looks so tasty and delicious. <laughs> Even though Paula does not need to eat at all, but hey, it's fine. You know, if you just want to get the good taste of food, why not treat yourself? Okay, so let's have her go shower so she can improve her water mood lid and then go to sleep. And I'm aware of like that she can photosynthesize and all that, but I just, I don't know, like having her actually have a bed with the others. Now, I think that our dragon's about to hatch. So let's go ahead and see what color or dragon we have. We have, oh, it's a purple dragon. Well, that's fine, Mr. Purple Dragon. We'll call you Spyro. <laughs> now let's see we can be the life of the party someone's new uh well, let's feed spyro why not and then we will be the life of the party whatever that means and then go to bed so ooh, fancy <laughs> so here we have a mark of the purple dragon spending time with the purple dragon is like attending a never-ending party awesome she's feeling lucky and we also got some spell done to us. So it says, there are no parties going on right now. So there's nothing to improve. Oh, well, good thing that I'm gonna try to throw a party tomorrow. So maybe we can use that interaction once they're all at the park, assuming I can actually host a party there. All right, now good. I think that Daisy is really, really close to finishing her book. I'm gonna have her eat some cinnamon rolls and also drink some coffee. That way, she can pull an all-nighter and a I almost bought a food processor instead of a... Oh, you know what? We should buy... Is there like an old-fashioned looking one, kind of? I thought there was. Oh, this one will do. I think that one kind of suits the theme of Roaring Heights. And there we go. That way her energy will go up. And that's right, her <laughs> social is always incredibly low. Whoops. Oh, wow. Did she get seconds? She did. Oh, wow. She was hungry. Okay, nothing wrong with that. So now she can write humor books, which is something. Now she's buzzed, but still in a somewhat bad mood. <laughs> but it's okay. At the very least, she should be able to finish breaking Babs, and that way we'll get more money with royalties, which will be wonderful. So there she goes. Come on, you can do it. Have faith. You have two hours left on your buzzed mood lit. Come on. And you're also stuffed. Oops, that's probably because you ate too much. I'm sorry, that was probably my bad. But you got this. Come on! And today is spooky day. Alrighty. Now Babs. Oh, she was so close. She was so close. Don't worry. In the next part, she will definitely be able to improve, or not improve, finish her book, Breaking Babs, which will be great. And then we can write the horror novel for Paula being a vegetable slicer. So it is spooky time. Now let's go ahead and use the phone and throw a party at the park if we can so let's see wake up wake up okay now we'll go over here yep awesome and we're gonna make it a we can't make it a spooky party oh that's sad hmm okay change of plans we're going to throw a party here and we're gonna throw it very early like at 3 p.m which I know is kind of silly for a spooky party, but it's gonna be done. I don't know, we'll just invite all these random people. We don't really know too many people around here. And we will make this a costume party. We'll make it at, like I said, 3 p.m. or so. That way Babs can enjoy it slightly. And the dress code is costumes. Awesome. So they should all be here around that time. At like one or 2 p.m. I will have 
Um, what is Luigi Jr. wearing? Is that his costume for today? <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, I'll have uh, Paula create some nice and tasty treats for our guests once they're here. Now, everyone has the day off today, which is wonderful. So I'm going to have, oops, yeah, go ahead and eat some leftovers. That's fine. Then I'm going to have him go ahead and work on the car still. So Paula, your garden, your garden's pathetic, first of all. But <laughs> let's see if she can go tend the garden at the very least. And wow, well, this object actually ended up not being so useful. But it's okay. Once uh, Babs becomes a witch, we should be able to take advantage of that object some more. And we got something over here in the mail. So we got bills. We will be sure to pay those. I remembered. <laughs> no repo man or woman will be coming to our house anytime soon which is great and look there's some progress being made on our fixer upper look at that it has a nice fresh coat of paint i think it's going to be able to actually function soon and there we go paula's garden looks so good now we can actually fertilize the garden now and where's what are you gonna do no leave him alone he's like working on this car <laughs> please just don't do it all right wonderful and oh yeah also I think once, um, you know, Paula, actually, I'm kind of glad we got a purple dragon. You know what? Babs can have a purple dragon. I'll try to find out how we can make a green dragon. That way we can have Spyro and also Yoshi chilling in our house. That way we just have some awesome little dudes hanging around our house. <laughs> now, I did pay the bills, right? Yes, I did. Oh, we also do have additional like mail inside. So let's go see what that's all about after we recycle this. Any day now. There we go. Oh, crap. What is this? Wait, we have... Okay, no, we just have one show. It's at 7 p.m. Okay, that's fine. I know, I know. That's cool. There isn't enough space for a dragon to fly here? Oh, okay. There's a letter for Luigi Jr. from Bonnie. It says, I've been dreaming of you. Whoa. Okay. A long-lost relative has passed away and named you in their will. Your inheritance has been placed in your family inventory? Whoa. Okay. Uh, we got a picture of dogs from our inheritance, and we also, oh my god, we got this, which is perfect, because now Babs can make some meth, <laughs> and a guitar. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sell the guitar, because I don't really care for that, but here we go, <laughs> Babs, go ahead and, uh, discover a potion over here. <laughs> So, Paula just got a letter in the mail from Marilyn. Wow, I had no idea you felt the same way, or feel the same way, obviously, because now they're engaged. Why do we have so many letters? <laughs> Stop. Wow, that one lady sent two love letters to Luigi. Oh my goodness. A SimFest is starting at Porta Party Mini Warehouse. No, a SimFest cannot happen the same day Babs has a show. That is rude. I do not appreciate it whatsoever. And Paula, no, stop. That's not your, just, oh my God. What can you do? Go shower, first of all. And then, can you still improve your cooking with volume two? You can, okay. So we'll have her go shower and then continue to, um, oh God, no one is like ready or dressed whatsoever. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You know, we're gonna have Luigi Jr. go ahead and get the party started by streaking. And that's right, that's what you can do, Paula. Okay, so you can go and shower. And then, what is this? Oh, you made dinner rolls? No, Babs made dinner rolls, why? Okay, go serve some delicious banana cream pie, okay? And then after the banana cream pie, we're actually gonna have Buster go ahead and invite the pizza man over. So let's see, services, call for services. We want some delicious P-I-Z-Z-A in our household that way we have some food other than pies for our party now where are the guests we don't have no guests awesome well paula has improved her cooking skill and that's no costume go ahead and put yourself in a costume you know babs is just going to the next level and pretending to be a meth uh <laughs> dealer and is in full costume and whoa I thought that guy's name was Brad Brad for a moment. And there's this chick again, Bonnie. I think we fought her, didn't we? I think so. Oh, you know what? If this improves logic skill, I think it does, then we should have uh, Daisy actually use that eventually because she can improve her logic as well. And what is she, a magician? <laughs> I guess so. 
Well, it's a good thing that she needs some social today. Because that way, we can actually go ahead and interact with some sims over here. And alright, everyone is slowly arriving. Now, what are our sims dressed up like? Okay, so Paula is still busy cooking, but then she'll transform into an outfit. Buster is a diver. Seems to be a popular choice this year. Do we have a pizza delivery dude? Yes, we do. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get the pizza then. Cause pizza's so good. All right, good. Luigi Jr. Oh, wow, that's Luigi Jr.? Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, dude straight up just dropped the pizza on the floor. What the hell? Dude. Okay, wait, no. Let's have everyone go ahead and take a slice. Alrighty. Why did you just leave it on the porch like that? That is so rude. <laughs> oh my god, there's way too many people here for this size of a household. We don't even have anywhere to put this pizza. Where is he gonna put it? Okay, we're just gonna put that on the floor then. Well, <laughs> there is no free services to serve the pizza. There's so much food! There is so much food. We have the lasagna over here. Vegetarian chili. Alright, let's uh, actually move this coffee out. Oh my god, there's so many. Just go away. Put that tray over here. We're gonna put the pizza there. There. Now let's have everyone go eat some food. Why is there so many divers? Like, why would that even be a costume? That's so dumb. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, well, that's fine. At least we got pizza situated, which is good. Oh, wow. What are you doing picking up the whole damn pizza? Put that down! Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Stop it! Why are they just picking up pizza and smelling it? What kind of party is this? What is happening? Like, everyone's so tired now? Or they're really bored? I don't know what's happening. Oh my god. But for some reason... Oh, that's the girl that sent us two love letters. Like, what? Why? No, don't respond positively to this. Go ahead and give her a mean high five. Like, you have a girlfriend, dude. Oh, wow. Well, there's Marilyn. She finally showed up. And she just picked up some food from the ground. She just picked up a whole bunch of dirt and decided to call it hot and sour soup. No, that is not okay. I am very, very, very displeased with this, especially since Paula is in the culinary career. That is just incredibly disappointing, Marilyn. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well... <laughs> Uh, this part has been going on long enough. In the next part, we'll continue doing this party. And actually, you know what? Before we have, um, what's it called? Babs, before she goes off to perform, we will have Spyro perform that one interaction before she leaves. So, <laughs> anyways, that is all for now. And I will see you all next time.